Welcome back to Tran Plays 10 Miles of Safety.
Parts and metal, so I should definitely keep my parts. Find. If I can find another one with a heavy gun in the side, I should get some more ammo for my LMG. Yeah, keep metal in parts, so let's get some more metal. I'm glad I saw that jet fly earlier. Otherwise, I might have gotten flattened by that one. The audio work on that was pretty good because it sounds a lot closer. I think I could be able to tell the difference between an overhead jet and a one in front of me in this game because of the sound. The gunfire sound does need some work. Maybe zombies and civilian sounds. But the jet? Jet is pretty solid. One more night and I should make it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
I might not have to fire a single bullet this night. That'd be pretty cool. They don't recognize this as a structure or something, so they're trying to home in on me. So this confirms that they are trying to home in on you before they, uh, they're trying to home in on your position passively before they, before they yell and, and say, I found you. So this does prove that they passively look for you where your, where your position is, even if they don't know you're there. Probably, well, could you be that the smelling? Wave two, I would say there's about four waves a night. One of the reasons why you begin packing up early, even though the night hasn't finished. Obviously, I won't be able to this night. Pretty interesting. Uh, this is worth keeping. This is definitely worthwhile night footage because. Uh, this is a. An interesting way to pass the night. <laughs> Less so because it's gamey or whatever, but more because I might be able to make it through the whole night without firing a single bullet. And I haven't done that yet. So what's that? That's wave three. And if nobody spawns in front of the hangar, then I guess I can start unpacking. Here's wave four. peaceful night. Could use another melee weapon, though. I reached the point one mile marker. Not too thrilled about leaving my LMG, but I have no ammo for it. Or at least not enough. I don't have enough ammo for that. That's not a special event because it's a blue event rather than a yellow one. There's another building. Never mind, that's a... I don't have what I'm looking for for weapons, but...
Oh, come on, you don't even kill a zombie? Man, I hope I didn't make a mistake grabbing this RPG then. Collect explosives here. I like that it shows all my gear on me. Wait a minute, what if I- oh, hold on. I probably need a main escape route for the pilot. I don't want him to die. He should be able to jump over that. Astonishing. I didn't think any civilians had made it this far. Listen. I can fly this plane, but I'm not leaving without the rest of my team. They have crucial data, which can help formulate a cure for this outbreak. But I lost contact with them, and I can't leave this area. Maybe you could go look for them. I'll guarantee you a place on this plane if you do. Find the lab compound. Hope it doesn't despawn my stuff. Maybe I can pack enough heavy ammo to replace my LMG. But if I if I lose my wood and my metal, I'll be okay. Maybe. I know the compound's down there. I'm just taking a look around. I 
Let's see if my stuff stayed. Yeah, it did. Had it highlighted for a second. Darn it. Hey! Hey, you out there, we need help! We must get this data back to our headquarters. Without it, outbreak could take over the entire country and the planet. If you could escort us to our plane, there's a place for you too. But we can't leave our lab until you clear this compound. Actually, this doesn't seem too bad if I don't have to protect anybody. Wow, I did not have to fire a single bullet. Come on, lady, over here. What? Come on, it says searchable. Alright, whatever. Let's make sure there's nothing else I can take with me. Am I stuck inside? I hope not. But nobody in there, nobody in there, and nobody in there. All right, we're good. We got three. Oh, stay still, guys. One, two. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm, I'm just going to keep going. Whoa, I didn't get to see that. I'll freeze frame it and do the voice line for that. If we can get these samples back to our headquarters, we might be able to synthesize a cure. I'm heading to the cockpit to prepare for takeoff, but I heard on the radio there's a big group of infected coming this way. You need to hold them off until we're ready to fly.
That wasn't exactly what I meant to do, but alright, that works. Need more metal. I can't believe I don't have enough. Looks like I can shoot my turret, so that's bad positioning then. Oh, that's nice. Come on, you could drop you guys could drop a lot more ammo for me. Apparently it's out of ammo? Oh. Well then I wasted it! I shouldn't have deployed it right now. <laughs> That's not too bad, it actually kills them. There's no bounce, there's no delay. I think I'm gonna get one on that one, though. I think zombies can cover each other from an explosion, maybe. I'm almost out of bullets! Dude, there's a plane right here. Come on. Just switch to this. Grenade. Press switch. Oh. Come on, dude. Get in. <laughs> okay, well, at, at this point, you're no longer my concern if you're if you're just gonna run through my racer like that. Prepare to survive the night. Oh, good thing I'm paranoid. So even if I've run out of ammo for one of my guns, probably my assault rifle, I have a grenade launcher on the floor. But my melee weapon is a bit weak, so I've got two explosive weapons and and uh, not a reliable melee weapon. You guys handle everything in front, I'll handle everything to the sides, maybe? Because I don't want to shoot my own turrets. 
That would be silly. Ammo right there from the guys that just killed. I'm not going out there at this point. Wow. I could just like hide right here probably and they would never do anything to me. That did, that did substantial damage to my barricades. Oh no, you, you dropped me in front of my own barricades? Oh good, you at least dismantled it. Thanks for dismantling my barricades at least. That would have sucked if I had to try to jump over them. Because I, I, I can't jump over them. I built them so I couldn't jump over them. Okay, I guess we're safe. I didn't realize there, were any, there was an actual victory condition for this title in Early Access. So I'd like to see a lot more events catered specifically to the areas you're in, such as something for the dockyard, something for the suburbs, that kind of stuff. Civilians killed three. Yeah, I can see that. I think like two died to barbed wire, and I think I hit one with a baseball bat when I was trying to collect ammo under a barricade. I collected 17 out of 22 weapons, I suppose. Only found three recipes. <laughs> that took me 35 days to walk 10 miles. All right. What happens if I hit continue? Okay, I probably just play that ending segment again. I wonder if I could like walk all the way back. Uh, probably not because of the, the river boat. But anyways, that's it for this series. But if the series does really well and a lot of content comes out for 10 miles of safety, then we'll revisit this. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching Tran Plays 10 Miles of Safety. I'll see you in the next series.